once more, this is to just be taking you in uh, home economics. And uh, in home economics today, we are trying to look at uh, the home. The home. I understand that uh, we all have homes where we come from, isn't it? Yes, we do. Now, these homes that we have, it is always important that uh, we keep them clean. We keep them clean. And keeping our homes clean involves having different cleaning materials as well as uh, cleaning equipment. When we met last time, we looked at cleaning materials. Cleaning materials. We said these are materials that help us to keep our homes clean. They help to kill germs, they help to maintain surfaces. And among the cleaning materials that we discussed, we looked at uh, paraffin as one of the cleaning materials. We said we use paraffin when we want to clean windows. Apart from paraffin, we looked at Ajax. We said Ajax is used as a scoring powder to clean pots, to clean saucepans, to clean cups, to clean toilets as well. Furthermore, we did look at uh, fine sand. We said fine sand is also a cleaning material. It helps us to, to clean water, pots as well as the saucepans. Apart from uh, fine sand, we looked at uh, lemon juice. Lemon juice. Well, if you don't have lemon juice, we said you can use water, vinegar. We said these two are used to remove stubborn stains. We use vinegar as well as uh, lemon juice to remove water, stubborn stains. That is not my area of interest today. My area of interest is uh, looking at uh, cleaning equipment. Cleaning equipment. Now, someone may ask you to say, what are these cleaning equipment that uh, someone is trying to talk about? What are these cleaning, uh, cleaning equipment that someone is trying to talk about? Well, these are simple tools that help us to clean our homes. We are saying cleaning equipment, cleaning equipment, are tools. These are tools that help us to clean different places. Different places in our homes. You are all aware that our homes are made up of different, different places. We've got living rooms, we've got toilets, we've got bathroom rooms, we've got the kitchen. So we use these tools to clean all those uh, different places that we are talking about. Examples of cleaning equipment. Let us look at examples of cleaning equipment. Do not say equipment because the word itself, equipment, is already in the plural. So you don't need to say equipment. It's just a equipment. Well, there are different types of equipment that we need to ensure that we keep our homes in clean. We will look at them one by one. First thing, I have this equipment. Looks funny, right? But uh, it's very, very important. This equipment is known as a, a hard broom. This is known as a hard broom. This is a hard broom. What do we use a hard broom for? What is this hard broom used for? Well, you might have guessed right. This is used to clean uh, the outside surrounding of our home. It helps to clean the outside surrounding of our home. So we are saying it helps to clean the outside surrounding 
outside the surrounding of our homes. So we use the hand broom to clean the outside surroundings of our home. So we use it to sweep, mainly it's used for sweeping the outside the surrounding. Apart from the hard drum, we have this. This is another special special equipment that uh, we usually use in our homes. I know we know what this is. You might have guessed right. This is known as a standing broom, a standing soft broom, a standing soft broom. But instead, we just classify in the same place as this. These are soft brooms. So if you do not manage to get this one, you can use a traditional one. These are usually available in our local markets at a very cheap price. So we will call these two as the soft brooms. Soft brooms. What would be the use of these two? Uh, simple tools that I have with me. Well, we use them for sweeping. We use these to sweep uh, the dust as well as the dirt on the floor. So we use the. Uh, we we say they are used to sweep to sweep the dust. And the dirt on the no. So we use the soft broom to sweep the dust, uh, the dust as well as the dirt from the floor. We use the soft broom to sweep the dust and the dirt on the floor. Apart from that, we have this. This is another uh, cleaning equipment. It's another cleaning equipment. I know you are trying to guess. Yeah, your guess would be very, very right. This is known as a, a mop. This is known as a, a mop. So a mop is a cleaning equipment. A mop as well is a cleaning equipment. So we are saying mops. There are different uh, kinds of mops. This is known as a standing mop. This is known as a, a standing mop. There are other types of mops where you just get a piece of cloth that you can use as well to do a thing to mop your floor. What is the use of this mop? We are saying it is used for wiping the floor. It is used for wiping the floor. So mops, these uh -huh. used for wiping wiping the floor used for wiping the floor sometimes you would find yourself working but as you are working you spill water on the floor you need to use a mop to do what eh? to wipe out that water you uh, find that uh, you're sweeping now. You need to wipe before you can apply. You can apply cobra. You need to use a uh, a mop to wipe out uh, the floor to ensure that it is ready uh, for cobra application. This is yet another uh, another cleaning equipment. This looks like a large spoon, isn't it? Well, it's not a spoon. This is a dust pan. This is known as a Dust pan. So a dust pan is a cleaning equipment. Dust pan. Dust pan. A dust pan is a cleaning equipment as well, just like these others that we have uh, looked at. What do we use a dust pan for? What do you think is the use of a dust pan? This dust pan. Dust pans also come in different uh, types. This one is a plastic one, others are metallic. What would be the use of a dust pan? Well, uh, it is used for collecting dust and dirt after sweeping. 
we are saying a dustpan is used for collecting dust and dirt after sweeping. So, it is used for collecting collecting dust and dirt after sweeping. So after you sweep your bedroom, after you sweep your living room, after you sweep your kitchen, you need to use a dustpan to collect the water, the dust and the dirt. Well, these tools that I've shown you are not the only ones. We have others such as a, a duster. We have others such as a, a duster. Now, a duster can be made of chicken feathers. Can be made of a, a chicken feathers. What could be the use of the duster? We are saying we use it to dust tables, chairs, and the, the walls. So, it is used to dust chairs, <coughs> tables, and the, the walls. There are certain times when we get to experience windy, windy days where there is a lot of wind and this wind raises a lot of dust. This dust ends settling on our tables, the dust ends settling on our chairs as well as uh, on the walls. So to ensure that we remove that dust, you need to use uh, a duster. So we use a duster to dust chairs, tables as well as the uh, walls. Apart from a duster, we also have what we are calling a scrubbing brush. Scrubbing brush. Have a scrubbing brush. We use a scrubbing brush to scrub and wash hard surfaces. We use a scrubbing brush to wash and scrub hard surfaces. Apart from a scrubbing brush, we have a, what we are calling a toilet brush. A toilet brush. I know we are familiar with the toilet brush because it's a tool that we see each and every time. We use a toilet brush to clean the toilet. We use a toilet brush to clean the toilet. Apart from that, we can also use this. And I know this is going to sound, it is going to sound very funny, but these are also cleaning equipment, old newspapers, old newspapers. These are very, very important cleaning equipment. How do we use old newspapers? We use old newspapers to clean the windows. We use old newspapers to clean the windows. Apart from that, we also have a we also have buckets and uh, basins. Buckets and the basins. What could be the use of buckets and the basins? Well, buckets and basins are used to collect water. These are used to collect water which is used for cleaning. They are used to collect water which is used for cleaning. Apart from, uh, apart from uh, uh, buckets and uh, basins, we can as well talk about a shining brush. A shining brush. A shining brush. Well, if you live in a home that has just a cement floor, no towels, you are likely to have seen a shining water brush. A shining brush is used to polish the water, the floor. This is usually used after you apply cobra on the, on the floor, then after some time you use your shining brush to ensure that you polish the floor so that it can be shining. 
So these are some of the cleaning equipment that I wanted us to discuss today. These are some of the cleaning equipment that I wanted us to discuss today. Moving on from here, I will present an e exercise so that uh, you can copy in your books and answer. All right. Um, before I present an exercise, uh, let us go through the work once more. Let us go through the work once more. So today, we've been looking at the home. The home. The home. And under the home, we have been looking at uh, cleaning equipment. Cleaning equipment. What are cleaning equipment? These are tools that help us to clean different places in our homes. These are tools that are used to clean different places in our homes. Examples of cleaning tools uh, or, or cleaning equipment. One, we have a, a hard broom. A hard broom, we are saying it helps to clean the outside surrounding of the home. It helps to clean the outside surrounding of our home. Apart from a hard broom, we have soft brooms. We have soft brooms. We are saying they are used to sweep the dust and dirt on the floor. We use soft brooms to sweep uh, the dust and dirt on the floor. Aside from that, we have mops. We are saying these are used for wiping the floor. We use the mops to wipe uh, the floor. Then we have a dustpan. The dustpan is used for collecting dust and the dirt after sweeping. We use a dustpan to collect dust and dirt after sweeping. Apart from the duster and these others that we have mentioned, we have a duster. A duster is used to dust chairs, tables and the walls. A duster is used to dust chairs, tables and the walls. We mentioned to say during windy days, the wind makes dust to rise and settle on our chairs. We need to settle on our tables, we have dust to settle on our, on our walls. So to ensure that we remove that dust, you need to use a, a duster. Apart from that, we said that scrubbing brushes are also cleaning water equipment. We use scrubbing brushes to clean and scrub hard surfaces. We use scrubbing brushes to clean, to wash and to scrub hard surfaces. Apart from that, we have toilet brush. A toilet brush is used to clean uh, the toilet. A toilet brush is used to clean uh, the toilet. Then we have old newspapers. Old newspapers. These are used to clean uh, windows. We use old newspapers to clean uh, windows. So if our parents buy uh, newspapers, don't throw them. Keep them. You need them to clean your windows. Aside from that, we have buckets and the basins. Buckets and the basins. We say we use these to collect water, which is used for cleaning. We use buckets and basins to collect water, which is used for cleaning. Then we have a shining brush. A shining brush. We are saying a shining brush is used to shine the floor. It is used to polish the floor so that it looks shiny. So this time around, an exercise is waiting for you. Fine. Okay, thank you so much. So, this is the exercise for today in um, home economics. These are the questions. The first question says, what are cleaning equipment? What are cleaning equipment? So you are going to explain what cleaning equipment are. Question 2 says, briefly explain the use of the following. Briefly explain the use of uh, the following. You explain the use of a mop. What do we use a mop for? The use of a toilet brush. How, what do we use a toilet brush for? The use of old newspapers. What do we use old newspapers for? D. Dust pan. What do we use a dustpan for? Then E, hard brooms. What do we use hard brooms for? As you present this work, remember to practice and present it in a very, very good handwriting. 
Well, for today, this has been me, Teacher Sibile, taking you in home economics. Until next time, bye-bye.